Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a product introduced to the Meguiar's Ultimate line, and this is the Insane Shine Paint Glosser. 16 ounces for $15. What is this? Well, this will go in a subcategory that has been gaining traction lately, and that is a product you could spray on the paint before the judge comes around or before a show or before the night out on a town that will just boost gloss and a bit of slickness. No protection whatsoever. Uh, this class includes products you may know, such as PNS uh, Bean Maker and Dream Maker and a few others. The product also has filling capabilities, so we're not going to do paint correction today. You, of course, can, uh, but we're just going to wash and decon. So do your normal wash process, your decontamination, uh, iron remover, clay, and what I'm going to do after I'm finished with that process on this test area is I'll follow up with a panel prep. Make sure there are no um, existing protectants, maybe a coating or a sealant or a wax. It does mention on the bottle itself, on the label, that it will not get along with a coating. So with that said, I believe the product is aimed at the do-it-yourselfer who is out there. Um, paint is in rather sad shape not a lot of it to correct and bring back to life so you would use a product like this to maybe mask some of the love marks or swirl marks and boost gloss and slickness so if you have a vehicle and it's aged the clear coat has worn thin either from being polished too many times or just whatever mother nature has been throwing at it um, you can use a product like this to mask some imperfections and bring out the best look that you possibly can without spending a ton of money to respray uh, the area or the whole vehicle. I'm not quite sure how big the group that this product is marketed to uh, would be. However, with the category slowly growing and uh, gaining traction, I thought I would bring this product to the channel and at least show it to you. Although the label and the directions and indications give you uh, an idea of how to use the product and what you can expect, there are a lot of details that are missing that I would like to know. Um, can it go on top of a wax or a sealant or other protection? Uh, if it doesn't get along with a coating. Um, is, does it have protection in it whatsoever? Was it intended to do so? We'll find that out. So what I did here with this test panel is I marked an area off and I put six dots all throughout the panel. Some in a, an area that has been corrected, some in areas that um, have been left in the original condition. The panel was left to me uh, right off of the vehicle so it would have swirl marks and love marks. Uh, there's another area on this side that was uh, a test area for a correction fluid and it did a half decent job but there's still swirls so there's plenty of areas to test it on with this hood let's get um, some gloss readings beforehand before we apply the product then we will lay down the ultimate insane shine paint glosser let it cure properly and that's another thing that the label does not indicate any sort of cure time at all but we will let it cure it'll be maybe a day or two till I get back to it anyways but we'll let it cure we'll come back and we'll take measurements and maybe take a look at some of the other characteristics that it leaves behind I'm not completely sure so let's get some readings I have the dot uh, on the paint itself so we can measure at pretty much damn near the exact same spot we had a, the original measurement and I'm writing that down here for each area and then we will apply the product and move on
All right, that'll do it. Let's grab the Meguiar's Ultimate Insane Shine Paint Glosser. Well, that's a mouthful. Shake it up. Any detailing product, guys, will have a nice, rich formula. Mix it up, shake it up. We're going to spray directly onto the panel with this. A nice, thick, liberal layer. We're going to massage it in, flip the towel over, and buff. And you will see it not only flash, but come up with your microfiber as well. The slickness will start, and, and it'll start to kick in right away. You'll feel that. The product claims to conceal light love marks, some swirls, maybe towel marks and also will quote unquote turn up color saturation and gloss we shall see a second layer why not i don't paint my fence with one layer or one coat let's make sure we have it applied evenly give it the best chance that we can So initial thoughts, it's easy to work with. It's pleasant, has a pleasant scent. It's not a bear to work with. The thing I thought was unique, uh, interesting, I thought I would share. On the back, it mentions the ability to nourish paint for a deep gloss. And then also perfect on its own or pair this product up with a spray wax for quick and easy paint care. I thought I would share that with you for what it's worth. So these are the results immediately after applying the product. Now the swirls are still there. They are a little bit better. I guess some of the real topical minor swirls or towel marks would be taken care of with a product like this. Um, the slickness is there. We will let this cure, although there is no mention of cure time whatsoever. We'll give it a chance to set up and bond maybe. Um, maybe the gloss and the filling capabilities will show up and it's almost two days till I get back to the panel and I can immediately feel the slickness has increased which is actually quite impressive this block will take off much sooner than on the unnourished I guess I'd have to say because it's not a protectant uh, area of the hood let's get back to these gloss meter readings uh, we've had before readings. Let's take some after readings now that it's had time to, I guess, cure. In this first area, we've done a bit of paint correction, and there's just ever so slight of an increase in gloss. So let's keep moving along here. In area number two, about a three uh, unit increase and your the naked eye will pick up a four or five unit in increase on a panel can easily be picked up with the naked eye so we're getting we're getting better this is uh, a little bit more impressive as we move along okay so now we're moving towards a four gloss unit increase let's move on to section number four uh, these areas down here are the worst of the panel, I can tell you. Uh, all types of imperfections. So it seems that the worse the paint is, the better off this product. Will, the, the results will be uh, much more impressive. And we're only getting better as we get down, uh, deeper into the worst part of this panel. Over here, this is another corrected area. Uh, this is where we tested a correction fluid. And in that section, there was a decrease. Now, that could be the uh, beam reflecting or refracting from the surface of the paint back into the machine being affected by this product. Um, I'm not completely sure. Uh, but here we have another jump in gloss. So there you have it. Uh, that's what it can do. Uh, this panel came from a vehicle that was uh, hardly ever taken care of the way it seems. So we drag the panel outside, we will remove the tape, and there is a jetting effect. I'll bring the camera in so you can see that it 
you can see the definite line as to where it was applied and it makes the area look a little bit darker a little bit richer gives it a little bit of depth um, a little bit crisper reflections now without mentioning protection I expect this to wash off uh, immediately and there's hardly any water behavior with this product on it a little bit of sheeting um, I'm gonna wash it uh, I'll start the one wash test just to see what it looks like but right right now it doesn't look much different than the rest of the panel quite honestly So after the first wash is rinsed away here, you'll be able to see where that gloss enhancer uh, was laid down. What's left behind, I am not sure, to be completely honest, but this product would not be for myself. I'm sure there's a group out there that are seeking this product because the category is growing slowly. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.